Hey, so I got my transmission back from the repair shop for the shovel head. And here it is. It's uh, no oil in it yet, but it's been sandblasted. The case has been sandblasted, been repaired. Um, so ended up putting a, had to order a whole new clutch system, even though I had the other one here. I had to order a whole new one, which is no big deal because these are all those parts that came off of it. That bearing right there. So this is the tag that he wrote. So he wrote that the bearing, this bearing right here is cracked right there. So that needed to be replaced. Also, the whole reason I was taking the transmission out, first of all, to put was to put one of these on, but this one is also the wrong one. So he ended up having one that he put the correct brand new bearing on the inside, brand new bearing on. These were all the parts that came off of it. The uh, speedometer gear was done for. He labels everything. Uh, but the, it was done, but I ended up going with the Block off plate. We don't run the speedometers um, It's all the bearings gaskets seals Whatever everything that came off of it everything else replaced all the needle bearings. So the whole reason why Taking it off because of that right there. That was my doing spinning the nut to take off the hub or whatever you want to call that part. That was my doing. So I already got the bike set up. I got the oil bag moved off to the side. So I already did a little bit of work already. I had to pull the rear wheel off. Pull the rear wheel off. I had these gaskets. These gaskets here. But they were causing the tire to... So the reason I had to take the gasket off. Because they had this... The chain extension or tire extension adjuster all the way maxed out inwards and i need to push it in farther so i took these off to get the fender to go in further so if that makes any sense i don't know what the previous owner what he was doing but i'm fixing a lot of the mistakes that he had previously done or built make it right maybe hopefully so yeah, let's get started on putting the uh, transmission back in. Not gonna be able to run it today because I still have to finish building up, mocking up, fabricating some parts for the uh, high mids. Yep, but uh, let's get that transmission in today, shall we? Transmission's in. Uh, I wanted to put this on. I had it, but never had to put it on. Still gotta move the transmission back. But I'm gonna try to figure this out. Why it's this piece right here for the kickstand? It's not gonna allow the kickstand to go up and stay up. Does it have it on the wrong spot? No, I can't have it on the wrong spot because that's where it came off of. I think that's where it came off of. I gotta do some research, look at old photos. So I'll be back. All right, well, I got just got back from the store, hardware store. I went and bought uh, some actual stainless steel bolts to replace all these ones that are extremely too long and also to bolt that thing on, so.
adjust this transmission so that the gap right here and right there are the same and it's proving to be really hard by yourself so what I'm gonna do is push the side of the transmission forward tighten up the one of the nuts on the bottom therefore I could put a pry bar on this side and pull it back and give about a quarter inch of play in that uh, belt I think it's a quarter inch I better double check that so. And so, all right, and so the gap looks pretty even going across a lot better than it used to be because before when I, before this all happened, the belt was almost touching the clutch basket right here and there was a big old gap on this side, how it used to be. Now that's a lot better. So I decided to leave the belt on even though it's a very minute clearance I'm gonna see how it is if I have to I'll just take it off um, which will suck these uh, these screws they're too short barely like getting in the two back ones are fine but I need to replace these two just need to buy a slight longer these are three quarter this is what I'm using right now so I got 10 of these replaced with these. So the next size up is one inch they sell. So that's how much thread engagement is, but it's not enough apparently. It's just stripping the threads in. You would think that would be enough, but nope, it's not. All right, so the transmission's in. Now I gotta figure out this, cause I gotta adjust the clutch. Cause right now it's set up way over here. You loosen this up. All right, so and that's the belt tension we got right now, which seems good enough for me. I hope. All right, let's put the old bag back in now. Bag is on. There's no space to put that screw in down there. Transmission's in. There's no oil in it. And I gotta adjust the clutch so I can put the rod on. Oh, and I gotta get the chain on. And adjust the back wheel. Alright. Well. That's gonna be it for now. Transmission's in. I'm gonna continue tinkering with it, but off camera, I gotta cut down the chain. So this is the chain that's for it. It's this chain. I gotta cut this one down. Wait. Or it's this chain. Crap. I think they're both 530 chains. Yep, 5.30, and that one doesn't say. But I think they're both 5.30 chains. They should both, I think it was, this one came off the, on the CB, right? That chain's off? Yeah. All right. The gold one is for this the CB bobber. This is the one I came off the bike. All right, so I gotta cut this one down. I have to remove one link one or two links i think one link because the back tire has to come forward just a little bit because there was way too much slack in it and i don't remember where i put the master link at well something else i gotta find or gotta buy a new one but that's gonna be it for now you guys um i'm not gonna put that seat back on that amazon this seat 
this is the CEOs on it. Very uncomfortable. And I'm gonna buy myself a built well with the the back that has a back support somewhat. Yeah. When I order it, you'll see it. <laughs> so, anyways, that's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna continue working on this, and uh, if I uh, turn the camera on for updates, I'll turn the camera on for updates. But other than that, I will see you guys later.